Hello and welcome to chapter 19 of the tutorial how to set up an online shop with PHP and Dreamweaver. Fine, we've got clear the user area, basically the register and login stuff. Let's start taking the products out of the databases. This thing we've had here for several chapters, the, the different different categories we've got here. So I want that when I click in the category, I get the product list. To do so, if you remember in the in the include in catalog, we had the query that takes out each of the of the it repeated the results of the categories query talking out the, the data which is this the the do while do this until it ends right <coughs> here it's simply taking out the description that matches in this case these categories here which are boots tracking beach sandals and so on so let's do one thing we're going to create a new page that will be called um, uh, categories watch categories list uh, we will see it now and here we will just link it so I just select the field and I tell it categories or categories watch PHP I will save for you to see how does the process work now each of them has got a link that takes me to that category obviously it will give me an error because I haven't even created the page fine thing is how does the page know or how does our application know what of those buttons I have hit we will know that because we will send a parameter to send a parameter I remind you that category watch PHP can be put here or here I don't care um, question mark we can add the cat equals and the ID of this category remember we had it here so we drag it to this place save update and now you can see here that in the bottom of the page when I move the pointer over the links each one displays the corresponding title the the corresponding category this is the first one we put this is the third the second the fourth as we add or delete more categories that ID category will change on this side the things are clear right now and now we would create a page called um, category watch I copy this one for example <coughs> index which is the one that works as a wild card for everything and inside category watch we type here um, products a product and down here what we write is the, the name of the category we clicked on okay uh, first thing is that we will extract the list by making a query with the category field we sent ourselves via parameter to extract the products that are listed in that category it's very easy we go to the side of behaviors or links it's the same and we hit record set there we type products data we will extract all the products whose category where equals var category will equal a variable we will define here um, that will be and here goes cut what does this mean I'm creating a query in which I ask select me everything in the table product where the field in the category of the table product equals a value called var category Dreamweaver will ask what equals var category and we answer var category equals what I'm sending via parameter via get and the difference between get and post is that get can be seen in the URL the upper address you see this is for you to have an idea this would be passing a parameter via get you see it's the question mark the cat equals one and if there are more categories we would use the the ampersand but but by now we will pass just one okay um var category and what do i want to pick up from the parameter line the cat perfect so we accept accept again and so far there it is it has made a query here it is select everything from the table product where the table product in category equals the percentage s matching the product's data 
which matches getCat, which is the parameter I sent via get, right? Fine. The next thing would be displaying here the products data, for example. Uh, I'm not sure if I entered any, but we will see now. I put the name here and here. <coughs> Let's do it the cheap way. Price. Let's put it cheap. Price. And let's also add the image. Here comes the image field. Now we will see how to display the image. And what we have to do is this repeat it as many times as items we've got. So in behaviors, we choose repeat region. Repeat them all because initially we won't have many products, and there we have it in that case. So there it is. Um, let's see what we're getting by now, which is the most important thing. Okay, there it is. Image was 20, if I'm not wrong. Well, it turns price. Let's see if you can tidy this mess a little, because the price has appeared here. Um, I will put this here. Save. And here, I have a couple of products that probably haven't even got a name in the database, so let's go to the administration. I suppose you have entered uh, products by now and it looks nice, but as you can see, I haven't added the products yet. Products list. Look what we have. This is interesting to bear in mind now. It tells me this. I want to include functions, but I don't find them. I'm getting an error here in addition. It skips many pages and you have probably realized of it. And can you see this is a little out of shape? Why is this? Well, bear in mind that all the work we are doing is um, sort to say hanging or depends of shoes connection, which is this one. We added shoes connection, a session start, something that doesn't matter, the administration, but we have included this as well. Bear in mind that this include can be used when I call switch connection from the root files. Register OK, register user, index, etc. But here I'm calling it from administration, from an upper folder. So theoretically, to differentiate this, I should do something like this for me to take me to administration. But the problem is that my front end would stop working. I mean, you have to choose either one or the other or else you can do what we will do now it is that depending if it detects a file in a place link it there or if not it link to the other place how can we do that there is a function called is file whose purpose seems pretty obvious uh, if this file exists let's put this one here so in that case I want you to do me the normal include okay I close the if or else I want you to make the include that will work for the administration the the double dot dash um, I think more or less uh, let's try it in case I put my leg you see here it is perfect and here it is perfect as well so what do I have I have a single connection both for the administration and the front end and a functions file called function.php that works both for the administration and the front end this is extremely practical because later we will be repeating functions everywhere and it's interesting having them all in a single repository at least that's the way I used to do it. I'm sure there are many more but this is a way to have everything in the same repository. If we make a function that rescues the product name we can use it. We program it once and we can use it in the administration and the front end. Well, with this <coughs> we close here and the product list we have here you see I've got just one product so um, the administration works beautifully it's not that we created it you know but it works very fast okay I will keep the Wellingtons by now I don't think I even have a picture of them no I don't have it so the price appears here it's 20 let's do one thing uh, let's see how this I'm going to save let's go here one moment 
Wellington's price is 20 oh, and here what we'll do what we'll do is adding the image by now as you can see here I haven't included any image yet um, I will do it but it will be in the next chapter chapter number 20 with which we will close the second stage of this tutorial that hopefully is being extensive and practical to you all and, uh, and by now we will leave it like this because we have done plenty of things with the product stuff you see if we click here and there we will get the page only when there are products in the category an important detail you can use if you want is show me only when there are results that sounds logical so how can I do that I select the whole block of the do while which is what repeats me the product it only shows me one because there aren't any more but in case there were it would show them and I tell it this show me the region if the record set is not empty I click here and it asks me what record set I choose this one and now it has put me if the total number of products is bigger than zero then you do it but I will add one more which will go as follows there are no products in this category yet and then uh, I want this to appear only when the category is empty so I select this and tell the show region if the record set is empty what record set? by now the only one we've got in screen we accept that it even says here in small print show if let's save I update and seemingly nothing has happened but in mountain in beach and sandals if I have no products here I get this text we typed in before we go to boot and we have the product but not in the other categories okay I think we're going to leave this here until chapter 20 in which we will go more in depth with the presentation of the items if we have the time we will add the purchase button although I don't know if we will have the time to have it working but at least we will display some items around here I advise you if you can to add some products so that you can try it a little in the next video I promise I will add three or four more items pictures included so that we can see how this works properly because a shop with just one product looks kind of poor and our shop has to achieve success well then boys and girls I hope this has been nice for you and see you in chapter 20 in half an hour think and if you have any doubt you know you can ask me here or else in the blog and you know that following the usual trend I will upload the zip file with all the files we have created so far as well as a copy of the database um, in case some of you don't completely manage all this <clears throat> and in the next chapter we will explain how to create a backup copy since we have some data and it's time it's important to have a backup copy of them even so that we can explore data and so on so that's it for today see you in chapter 20 regards